Hello, uh, this is Baltic Aviation Academy and today we have a guest, uh, Gianfranco Giacchetti from uh, Velotea Airlines. Uh, and uh, Gianfranco has a 25 years uh, experience in Spanish and Latin America aviation markets, starting with small aviation, moving to commercial airlines. Uh, so we will ask him several questions. Okay, good okay. morning. Thank you. Good morning. First of all, women in aviation, what do you think? Uh, will the number increase and why? Yes, I think the number will increase in the future. Uh, uh, it's a, a profession that is not longer seen as a uh, only man profession. And uh, the airplanes are, uh, can be flown uh, perfectly by a woman and by pilots, by men pilots. So I think that will increase in the future. And airlines are willing to have a different uh, people around uh, because that's what is uh, normally seen as, as good in the airline so I think that it will increase. Okay. Are there many women uh, in the Spanish and Latin America markets currently? No. Not at the moment uh, unfortunately but uh, there are some women now involved in aviation but uh, not uh, the number that we would like to have. Uh, for example in uh, Voiling where I used to work for the last uh, six years uh, we have like probably uh, six or seven uh, women only pilots from 300 so the number is very low and now in Volotea we are looking to uh, we're looking forward to receive more uh, application from uh, women uh, at the moment uh, we have uh, three from uh, 76 pilots we currently have we know that you have been working on establishment of four airlines uh, what is the most challenging in this work the uh, startup uh, of an airline is a very complex uh, activity uh, because you start everything from zero, from scratch. And uh, the most uh, difficult part probably is dealing with the aviation authorities because you have to comply with everything and uh, most of the things that you need to comply uh, do not exist, so you have to create that. Uh, so probably that's the most important thing. Uh, but uh, however, it's a very rewarding uh, activity. Because in the end, uh, you uh, make uh, probably from zero a complete airline. So uh, after probably one or two years, when everything is uh, going standard or normal, uh, you can uh, see behind and see everything that you have done. So it's probably the most rewarding activity that uh, anybody can do in aviation. When was the happiest moment of, uh, like, uh, of your work? Probably when you see the first flight uh, depart after many months of uh, very hard uh, work because you normally for a startup operation you work sometimes the average is maybe 16 hours per day uh, for months so when you see your first flight uh, uh, taking off it's uh, very exciting this is the most uh, rewarding uh, time of the whole process you know, the, the maiden flight one thing very important for, for the startup, uh, whether to have the in-house uh, training center or to have the external TRTO provider, what do you think, what would you advise? Well, normally the experience is that uh, you need help at the beginning. So for the first, uh, let's say, months or even years of operation of an airline, it's important to have a support uh, from a professional uh, training center. Uh, that's definitely a need at the beginning because uh, if you start the operation you cannot afford to have a simulator training facilities instructors so you must have the control of the training uh, meaning that you will give the training center uh, everything you need to be done <coughs> and you have to be there but definitely you need them to help you but once the, the uh, time goes on and you start having experience and more people in the organization it is important to do the opposite, to do your own training because you need to keep your own standards, uh, your pilots uh, have to train the others so eventually, normally after a couple of years, uh, all the startups uh, change to complete in-house uh, uh, training uh, after that, uh, probably the help that the training uh, administration, training academies can do for an airline is to provide with uh, student pilots, cadet pilots that make only the type rating. So normally after this one or two years, type rating organization provide us, the airlines, with cadets doing all the type rating and then they go to the airline and the airline converts into their own procedures. So that uh, training process is uh, done together with the training organization and sometimes that uh, 
uh, continued for years, like in Welling. Welling uh, already has, uh, I think it's uh, eight years old now. And it still uh, uses the help of some TRTOs to provide with cadets. Yes. Uh, very often uh, we hear from the students that uh, what they want uh, is uh, the main aviation, to fly uh, the airliners, yes. commercial airliners. But uh, what we think, uh, what we see probably is that uh, there is a lack of people who can f do the ferry flights, uh, fly Technams uh, or Cessnas. Uh, what would be pros and cons of the smaller aviation and the big one? Yes, well, normally when you are a child and you dream about being a pilot, it's because you normally see a big airplane uh, departing at, the, at an airport. No? You see a big uh, 747 on Airbus and you want to be a pilot. So uh, that is why uh, we uh, always, when we are flying light airplanes, uh, we are a bit excited and uh, with the idea of going into the majors. And most of the time, uh, uh, it's something that uh, that shouldn't be happening because uh, everything is nice, uh, any airplane. And once you go into the big airlines, uh, big airliners like uh, I'm doing myself, uh, you start uh, thinking about I, I should have, a, you know. A, experience more in this airplane on the other and uh, enjoy more this time or the other no but that's normal the normal and the standard exciting of the excitement of the pilot just to see the major airplane no? but uh, small airplanes are beautiful uh, once you fly is the same if you fly a Technam or an Airbus because you are you are flying definitely and it's even more exciting to fly one of these light airplanes because once you are flying one of these uh, Airbus 320 it's a computer you are flying a flight simulator with wings, so it's very nice, uh, but uh, you are not really flying, flying like you are doing in a Technam. So uh, my advice to the young people is to, uh, to enjoy the time uh, you are flying the light airplanes because the big airplanes will come in the future for you. Uh, the aviation is expanding extremely, extremely uh, with numbers uh, amazing for the future. So there will be a time for the pilots to fly big airplanes, but for the time being, just enjoy the, uh, the lighter planes, uh, yes.